Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Salesforce with basically anything through Zapier or Ultimate.io. First things first, we have to create our, uh, ourselves an account at salesforce.com or log in to your existing account. As you can see, I'm using this uh, 14 days free trial, but it will work perfectly. Uh, we can also uh, we can use automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, as you can see, you just go up uh, on your screen, click on integrations, go to see all categories. And now we want to put in Salesforce. Like this. And now it's completely up to you what... Uh, app you want to integrate salesforce with you can go with slack mailchimp and so on there are like 200 and more options that you can pick from let's go with slack for example and as you can see there are some pre-made options or you can create your own integration we can then use zapier.com uh, we also need to create an account here and uh, once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and click on create zap. On the top left corner yet again, uh, we can name our zap like Salesforce to Slack, for example, like this. And uh, yeah, first trigger uh, will be from uh, from Salesforce. This app will be creating a trigger and affecting the second app that we will be adding later. It can be Slack, it can be QuickBooks, SharePoint, LinkedIn, literally whatever you, you, you need to integrate it with. So press LinkedIn, uh, press Salesforce, trigger event, let's go with a new record, continue, now we have to log in uh, to the account at Salesforce. Continue. Now we can uh, uh, we have to add the Salesforce object, like agent work, visual force page, app definition, and so on. But let's stick to the first one. Continue. And now uh, we can test the trigger. On the second action, as I said before, uh, you are basically integrating the second application. I start with the Slack, so keep up with Slack. Also, once we uh, use Slack, we're gonna need this, uh, we need to pick action event once again. So let's stick to the first one, continue. And now we just have to uh, choose an account, log in with your Slack account, and you hit continue and the integration is done. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.